Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 41. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at working with our fuel injection timing table, how to program it, and how the values correlate to where we want our sprayer fuel within the auto cycle. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with programming our fuel injection timing table within our Haltech Elite using our NSP software. Now, our fuel injection timing table and programming is often very confusing as you're getting started with tuning. And it's probably one of the last things we actually have to adjust in terms of our fuel delivery to our engine. In fact, you actually want to dial in your main fuel table first and then look at your injection timing because it's going to be something secondary in order to get the fuel delivered into the engine. Now, in order to work with and program our fuel injection timing, we have to be a sequential style fuel injection system. So that means we have a home sensor that's giving a home signal to the hull tech so it understands the number one cylinder top dead center position relative to our intake valve opening and closing events we need to time our injection timing based on that so it needs to have that in order to work with our fuel injection timing so if you're dealing with a batch fire style injection or bank to bank style injection it's not going to apply to you um, and you're just going to be firing those injectors essentially arbitrarily in the engine cycle and um, we're not going to have any kind of specific timing of our injection event. But with a sequential style fuel injection system, we can get very specific with this and we can populate and program values that will give us a little bit better economy, give us better transient fueling. And then in some cases under full throttle, we actually can pick up some additional power by getting the fuel into the engine where the, it's going to be most optimal. So we'll talk about what that looks like and what we need to look for in terms of our data and programming and working with our fuel injection timing. Now I will be doing a demonstration going through the entire calibration process, dialing in all of our fuel delivery, essentially tying together all of the various videos that we've had here in our training course up to this point, talking about dialing in our fuel delivery. I will be doing a demonstration on an actual vehicle here coming up very shortly in our training course and it'll tie together everything including injection timing. So we'll be touching on this again giving an actual demonstration, but I want to walk through what this all means here and understanding this conceptually because, again, it can be a little bit confusing talking about injection timing. The first thing I want to do is go and find our injection timing table here so we can talk about what it actually represents. So I'm going to go here from my fuel tuning page over here into basics. Now under basics, we have our injector data information, we have our injector latency or dead time, we have our injector flow rate, we have our short pulse with table. We also have here injection stage one firing angle. Now this is stage one. If you have multiple stage of injectors, you would have multiple different injection timing tables. Because I only have one set of injectors for this particular vehicle I'm working with here, I have just stage one that I have to focus on in programming. Now if you do have multiple sets of staged injectors, you can actually set them all to the same firing angle as your stage one that usually will work completely fine. Let's talk about what this values in our table here represent. We can see that this table here is based on manifold pressure and based on engine speed. We could simplify this table and just base it on engine speed alone. We can see the default Haltech table is based on manifold pressure and engine RPM. So you could keep it this way. You can also keep the factory default values that Haltech ships with their base maps because these will work for most any engine. And we'll discuss again what these values represent here in just a second. If you wanted to dumb down the table and take away manifold pressure, as our scale here and just base things on engine speed, we could go here to our breakpoint axes for this particular table if we click on this. Let's give this a second here. And we can find in our table axis setup, we can actually go here and edit this particular table. So let's click on this and then we can go up here and turn off manifold pressure just to make this a little bit more simplistic. And now we can see it's just based on engine RPM. That's usually sufficient for almost any engine just to dial in our injection timing for a port injection engine. Let's go ahead and just leave it now on just our firing angle based on engine speed. Now, what do the values in the table here represent? Well, these are degrees before top dead center relative to our compression stroke, just like we have our spark timing, which we haven't talked about yet, but we're getting into in some future training modules. This is going to represent degrees where we want to go and have the injector start or end its spray. So let me go and explain this because there's two different options when we're referencing injection timing. We have start of injection, we have end of injection. Now typically with a port injection engine, we are going to use end of injection and not start of injection. Start of injection is typically used on a direct injection engine. Let's go ahead and discuss this a little bit further. Let's talk about where we can find 
uh, the choice where we can switch it between start and end of injection. So if we go over here into our navigation area and we go into engine configuration under fuel system and we go here on... Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.